Hey, this is the uh, second video uh, with giving a little introduction to Kite Learning, which is our district's um, resource for learning how to use digital productivity tools related to uh, um, instruction. If you missed the first introduction that I sent out, um, I will link to it in the comments of this video, and that just goes over like how to log in and how to enroll. Um, this is going to be more focused on really briefly looking at navigation. So. Along here to the side, you kind of have these two different options, profile or library. If you start with your profile, you can see what you have been working on so far, if you started any courses. You could see other courses you may have in progress if you've started some other courses on Kite. You can also see courses that have been assigned to you. These are things that our district has assigned to us um, as suggestions to do. So here's an introduction to uh, using Kite, which you could use. Um, here are courses that have been completed. Right here are your achievements that show uh, how many courses you've completed, any badges you've earned for completing those courses. If you navigate over to the library option right here, you can see right here that these are all the courses that Kite Learning offers. Um, if you search, you can search for courses by topic. You can also go to collections and browse collections. For example, Microsoft, those would be courses all related to Microsoft products. You can also click My District. My District are courses that have been created by people in our district that would maybe relate very specifically to the kind of things that we use in our district. So for example, Karen made this course on using Frontline, um, which is formerly known as ASOP, which is our absent management tool, but also allows you to enroll for clock hours for professional growth. There's Net Support, which is our student monitoring software that Scott Bracken put together. And then Snohomish Tech Onboarding is a great course for anybody, especially anybody who's new to the district, but anyone also that maybe feels like they don't quite know how to use all the resources that are out there or what those resources are. Matt King put this together, um, which is just the kind of a general overview of the tech resources we have available in our district. And the way you use it is if I want to go through this, I would click the actual course. You could read through the description. You can read through the course syllabus. A little toggle will allow you to go straight to the video tutorial for that course. And when you hit start course, You'll begin the course, and you can just go through one at a time. Um, generally speaking, when you go through a course, the best suggestion is for every tutorial you watch, go and do the thing that you saw on the tutorial, as opposed to just sitting there and watching tutorials. It's probably the most effective way to learn, and it'll break up the monotony of just sitting there watching videos all day long. When you get done, there's a final quiz, and when you pass the final quiz, you'll get a badge. And you can use those badges to get clock hours. And a description of how to get clock hours is in the email that accompanied this video uh, that you clicked on to get to this video. Let me know if you have any questions.